Hello, good afternoon, good evening and welcome to another Pop Culture Gamers video and today we have a different type of unboxing because this is for the Canon EF 50mm f1.8 STM lens and this is to go onto my Canon EOS 2000D. So first off, let's just unbox this. So we have the warranty and we also have the Canon interchange lens instructions as well and you can also watch it on the Canon website by the look of it we won't bother with all of that because I pretty much know how to swap a lens and here we have the lens pretty much standard sort of Canon affair to be quite honest with you. We have the lens there it's a, a really nice big f-stop so that means that for those of you who don't know about photography it's about how big the aperture uh, actually is and as it's uh, 1.8 that is a very open lens so it lets more light in. So this lens fits any cameras in the EOS series uh, that will take EF lenses and basically it is a Canon EF lens 50mm 1 to 1.8 STM and it's a 49mm there as well. We have our automatic and manual uh, on the side and obviously the lens size is actually 50 millimeters so let's pop this on my camera and first thing I'm going to do because I don't want to get dust on here it's always a great idea to make sure that you put the lens covers back on your lens so when you get your lens originally it will have one of these on so I'm just going to pop that back on to protect the lens and then this one would obviously go on that side but because I've got a filter on here this is a top tip for me is always use a filter this is just a UV filter that I've got on here however the reason why I say that is because the most expensive part of your camera really is the lens and if you hit something it's far cheaper to break a relatively cheap filter than it is to break the lens. So it just gives that lens a little bit of extra protection. So I really strongly recommend anybody to get one of those. I mean, obviously if we look in here, we can see the mirror uh, of the camera. This is what it looks like inside. This is obviously a mirrored camera that sends up the information up into the pentaprism up here which then bounces a light around make sure the information is coming the right way out and then comes up out of here so let's put this in so we need to make sure we line this all up correctly that click tells me everything is now in place on the camera so I can take the lens cap off turn my camera on and here so what we're going to do is we're going to put this onto AV if you don't know how to use one of these cameras or you've never used one before uh, they have diff this dial gives all of the sort of things that you would normally pull together on um, menus on screen I mean I do still have menu options on here but 
The reason why I've got this camera is really for AV mode because I really like what's known as a bokeh effect in pictures and I like when I'm taking pictures of people to have that sort of blurred kind of background. So this is the ideal sort of lens for that because it's really nice and wide um, in comparison. I mean, I know that that looks wider, but the way that these actually work, this will have a bigger f-stop. So the way that the f-stop works is if I set my camera to a 1.8 f-stop and then I focus, if you can see this, And if you can see inside there, you can see it has quite a nice wide opening. But if I knock this right the way to the opposite side to F22, We get a very different sort of picture um, so it does really it's one of these things that we need to uh, be able to differentiate in terms of our uh, pictures so to give you an example of the bokeh effect I'm going to take a couple of pictures um, with that on so I've set my f-stop to 1.8 so the way to think about it is measuring from the outside inwards is probably the best way to think about it I've got an ISO of 800 because it's relatively it's indoors and it's not the brightest of rooms but it is still more than adequately bright enough but as you can see when I try and focus on something it does actually it sets everything that I need so let's take a picture okay so that's my look at the lens uh, this is as I said before it's an EF lens it will pretty much work with any camera that supports the EF or ES range, they all seem to uh, be pretty much the same thing. So I'm really looking forward to using this camera with the lens because it's going to improve my portrait photography and also close up uh, work as well. It's a really good lens. It does get rave reviews. The motor is um, really quite quiet, all things considered. I mean, if you listen, it's very very quiet there are other competitors as well out there that do very similar sort of thing some of them are a little bit less but they are more noisy they're a little bit slow to lock on and all of that sort of thing but you can get some really great effects with one of these lenses so i'm really looking forward to trying that out and if you want to see how those pictures look then why not have a look on our facebook group come and join us over there and have some fun Alright, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye now.